Hello friends, I welcome you once again to the Air Force OP video tutorial series, a presentation by the Academy for Life Skills Development Pune. Today we will like to see the concept behind the Air Force OP Leadership and Personality Development Program that I conduct here in Pune. Uh, all of you are aware that these are very quite effective. If you can see the comments below each video, you can make a guess that how effective these videos are as compared to the conventional rote memory based SSB coaching. You are also aware that I conduct this program on a concept called self-management leadership. A reference of this has been already given in one of the video that is uh, SSB interview decoded. I will request you to watch that video if you have not already seen. So today we will see the concept of self-management leadership on which the entire training for Air Force will be leadership and personality development program is based upon. And you will also come to know why DIPR has given its appreciation that is Director Dr. Manas K. Mandel on the concept of Armed Forces Officer Selection Orientation Program and Assisted Introspection. Now in one of the videos, uh, the name of that was Stimulus Response Model and also there is another video by the name uh, Developing Problem Solving Methodology. We understand that Stimulus Response Model may we have seen in life or in SSB, we are presented with a situation, whether it is TAT, WAT, SRT or GTO task or whatever, and we are supposed to give a response. And in one of the video that is social field theory, I mentioned that your behavior is a function of your personality interacting with a given environment. That's why different people behave differently when subjected to the same situation. If you have not already seen the video social field theory, I'll request you to watch it. And uh, also, in one of the video I made a mention that between the stimulus and the response you have the freedom of choice and the nature of choices that you de uh, exercise determines the quality of your life and the destiny itself and also in the SSB between the TAT, WAT, SRT or whatever stimulus between the stimulus and the response you have the freedom of choice the entire training must emphasize on how do you choose this freedom of choice rather than giving you ready-made responses now just to give an example mukesh vishnu sheshta and major gogoi they all of them exercise their own freedom of choice under the given circumstances and uh, what they did was completely natural response it was not coached to them by anybody or maybe any uh, coaching center it was completely their response good or bad nobody bothered to show oil cues they just got revealed mukesh ka अपने आप कुछ निकल के आ गया विष्णु श्रेष्ठ कुछ निकल के आ गया द सिचुएशन ओनली एक्टेड एज अ ट्रिगर फॉर दीज यू नो क्वालिटीज टू इमर्ज आउट मेजर गोगाई लुक एट दिस है ना दैट सिचुएशन केम सो दोज क्वालिटीज केम आउट नो सिचुएशन इट विल नॉट कम आउट सो वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू टेक प्रो एक्टिव डिसीशन एन एक्यूरेट डिसीशन आई हेड ऑलरेडी गिवन यू इन वन ऑफ द प्रेजेंटेशन दैट इज डेवलपिंग प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग स्किल्स दैट we must activate these five components in us as part of this interaction with you through video or maybe through classroom inter interaction or even for handling issues in life and that is a high degree of self awareness that is a leader must be self aware then you are able to learn from your past experience both in life and ssb so when you go to the second or the third time to in the ssb you should have learned from your improvement but you can only learn once you know what have you done previously wrong then a high degree of imagination your ability to see beyond what is visible and an active conscious that is this is the uh, inner uh, moral sense of right and wrong your ability to distinguish between right and wrong independent will or decision which is completely in your control you may take input from others but what you act on is completely yours you are not influenced or biased by anybody whether it is in life or in ssb and as part of this if you have seen this video change management for life in ssb i have told you that in case you are going for ssb which is a leadership based selection which is a personality based selection you must change at four level the gross and the low Lowest level is the action level. You know, do's and don'ts. ऐसे करना, वैसे करना. You know, why do you want to join the army? इसमें से दस में से कोई भी एक point बोल देना. These are all gross, very very superficial level. The second level is the intellectual level, where you, you know your reasoning is in place, your analytical skills, evaluative skills, your judgment. And the third level is the emotional level, interpersonal relationship. You know, your ability to empathize with others, social adaptability, cooperation, sense of responsibility. And the final is the consciousness. You know, with what state of mind you're going for the SSB. So if you have not already watched this video change management for ssb in life there are two series i'll request watches to understand because henceforth in all these videos i'll be referring this triangular model and action 
intellectual, emotional and consciousness. So request you watch that video. Let us now understand why people behave differently when subjected to the same situation. So when the same TAT is given, why different people behave differently? Some people write a Karan Harpitki story, some write Chicago story and somebody write something and some people are recommended, some are not. To understand this, let us understand the human dynamics. Now we human beings all of us, we live in two worlds. You know, let's call it the world, two worlds of our existence. One is our inner world, which is not visible through our sense, five sense perception. And the other is the outer world, which we can perceive using our five sense perceptions. You know, our car, our tongue and all those skin. So we live in two worlds, inner world and the outer world. Now the issue is, if we are in conflict in our inner world, we will be in conflict in our outer world. At the same time, if we are in harmony in our inner world, we will be in harmony in our outer world. Now you can understand why Mukesh raped Narabaya. Not because Narabaya came into the bus, not because the bus was empty, but because Mukesh had Sadawa Alu inside him. He was operating out of lust and this only got triggered because of Narabaya's coming into the bus. So Narabaya's coming into the bus is the stimulus and Mukesh ka rape is a response. Between the stimulus and the response, Mukesh had the freedom of choice. And your choices are based on your value system, your belief system and your attitude, your perception and all those things. And now we also understand why Vishnu Shrestha risked his own life in order to protect that girl and the process killed three people. So we live in two worlds, inner worlds and outer world. So if we are in conflict in the inner world, we will be in conflict in the outer world. And if you are harmony in the inner world, we will be in harmony in the outer world. Just to understand this, I will take this scene from Mahabharata, where the Yuddha has started and suddenly a capable person like Arjun refuses to fight. Do you think it was his capacity problem? No, it was not his capacity problem. It was his software problem. And it took 18 chapters for Krishna to resolve his conflict. And I think all of us are in some way or the other. We are Arjunas who have potential deep inside, but it needs to be tapped. So somebody, these coaching centers must help you to dig that potential from deep inside rather than upar upar sa kalik poddok. That does not work. I hope you are understanding. So Krishna, all he did was resolving the conflict. Krishna never claimed or never helped uh, Arjuna, uh, you know, do his battle. He had to do his own fighting. So how can I assure you that I will give you success? You will have to do his fighting. Only thing I can give you direction. So please understand what I am trying to say. I am not talking about Gita Sar. I am talking about resolving your inner issues before you go for SSB. Now if you have understood this, modern management is a western concept. Kya hai? It talks about managing 5 M's of the outer world. What does it mean? It talks about managing men, material, machine, method and money. So you take all forms of management, these can be clubbed under these five heads, whether it is hospital management, resource management, environment management, sub kuch. Now you would have also seen, jitna jada management, utna jada mismanagement. You understand what I am trying to say? For example, Ganga action plan mein karoro rupay baha diye Ganga ko saaf karne ke liye. Lekin Ganga ek taraf se saaf karte ga, peechra se dobara Ganga hota chala gaya. Kyo? Because Ganga action plan mein Ganga ko saaf karne ka to plan bana diya. Lekin Ganga ko pradushit ka करने वाले उन मनुष्यों के मनोवृत्ति को चेंज करने का एक्शन प्लान में इंक्लूड नहीं किया सो व्हाट आई मीन टू से इज बिफोर यू मैनेज दी फाइव दीज फाइव एम्स ऑफ द आउटर वर्ल्ड यू हैव टू मैनेज वन मोर एम ऑफ योर इनर वर्ल्ड एंड दैट्स योर माइंड so if you can manage the world inside you, you can manage the world outside you. Be it SSB, be it life. SSB mein bhi kuch log hai, fatta, balli, you know, GP, group solution dena hai, ye wo and all that, fatta, all those things. You cannot manage the world outside unless you are able to manage the world inside you. So that's the whole idea on which the entire Air Force Supi leadership and personality development is based. And this is not only for SSB, this is a life oriented training. So this is the whole idea behind uh, SML. Now, in case if anyone of you come for the Air Force Supi Leadership and Personality Development Program, uh, it is not, I told you, SSB oriented, it is life oriented. So there are certain definite advantages whether you get recommended or not. Unlike many other coaching centers, I don't give you any guarantee that you will get recommended even from stage one because that's not my hand.
but I can always assure you that whatever I speak to you, it will be 100% accurate, uh, you know, it will be a vector quantity, not a scalar quantity. Aapke har sawal ka jawab mein dunga because it is completely based on rational thinking. So one of the first advantages, it will help you to learn how to have more control on your own thoughts, feeling and behavior. Apne vicharo pe, apne bhaavnao pe aur apne vyavahar ke upar niyantran lana. Now man ko, it has been compared with a what is a horse. And a wild horse is a wild horse. It got tremendous energy but no direction. So unless this energy is channelized or it is tamed, you will not get the desired result. So this is a horse extremely powerful but under control. A concentrated mind is like a laser beam. It can cut through anything. So similarly, when you are going for leadership selection or training, are they helping you to channelize your energy or are they you to scattering, uh, you know, by saying all left right thing, ki load nahi uthana, ye nahi karna, wo nahi karna. No, that does not help you concentrate. If you are studying, it is not the duration of study that matters. What matters is the concentration with which you study. Ekagrita ki shakti. There is a video by this name. Please watch it. So there is this is a horse in control. Tremendous amount of energy, but in control, will give you result. There is another form, this. So, which is your form? And unless you know how to translate this wild horse into a domesticated horse, your mind will not give you result. Mukesh had a problem. He had a mind of this nature, second nature. Vishnu Shrestha are stable. Major Google is stable. So, when you go to the SSB or for the interview in the SSB or for the Fattabali thing, which way are you operating? Are you too much anxious? Fatta koi le jaga, koi load me out wale, koi ye na karna mein. So you have to understand what I'm trying to say. You cannot show leadership or any officer-like qualities unless you have a stable mind. Look at the definition of leadership. Leadership is the art of influencing and inspiring subordinate to perform their duties willingly, competently and enthusiastically for the achievement of the group objective. You cannot create this influence unless your mind is stable. Any oil cue which is given below, you cannot demonstrate if your horse is running wild. A stability is the crux of the matter. You can take stable decision when your mind is stable and under your control. So I'm asking you, is your mind in control? Look at this picture. Do you think you can answer this picture if you have a wild uh, mind running left, right? You cannot because you cannot even uh, imagine how much pressure it will put in the SSB. Look at this picture. When I practice, give this for practice, people come under tremendous pressure. They don't know how to explain it because the mind gets into lust. You know, this girl right now, her mind is running wild. She may be silent on the inside. She may have withdrawn. And you cannot write mood, mood uh, be positive because somebody is told. By writing be positive, you're completely um, uh, ignoring the human sensitivity. These two, for taking them as to be husband and wife, right now they are silent on the outside but they are disturbed on the inside. Their mind is hyperactive. Go and watch the video, uh, psychological classification of thoughts and medical classification of thought. You will understand. Their mind is right now in an agitated state even though they are silent on the outside. This girl's little girl is disturbed because her mind is in an agitated state because behind the parents are fighting. You cannot write ki bahar se shor ho to usne kaan laga liya. No. Look at this. Both of them are irritated. Mind not stable. You cannot have one out of control mind controlling the other out of control mind. You need to have a stable mind to handle this issue. Major Gogoi, he would have gone wild but then he had tremendous amount of control and he took a decision and today we can say good bad but the point is he took a decision. Confidence without clarity can lead you to disaster. So look at this, making mistake is far better than faking perception, per perfection. Don't fake perception, perfection in the SSB when you are not even aware what are you doing. So that's the first take home. Second is to become be uh, a better leader through better self-understanding and practical application of self-management leadership tools and principle. Now once you go through this training module, one of the biggest things that you learn is to know yourself. A leader must know yourself and you cannot influence and inspire others unless you are able to influence and inspire yourself. You are not have confidence in yourself and you are not going to tell others. You are not going to initiative and you are not going to say to others influence and inspire. A good thing is that you can't put fire in others. So before you influence and inspire others, can you influence and inspire yourself? 
so self management leadership so you can become a better leader if you understand yourself now look at the self description the psychological test opinion of a parents company commander teachers friends what are your strengths and weakness ye aapko coaching wale sir jab likh ke dete hai do you think it is helping you to look inward bevakoo bana rahe aap mo khota chamka rahe ho andar to waise rah gaya kaua mor banne ki training hai ye no you have to understand yourself that's the first step of any leadership forget about military leadership to bahut 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 badi baat ho gayi hai ratta nahi marna please understand so this is the second thing that you'll get next is to take complete responsibility for your life and stop blaming others or circumstances you know this blame game must stop you must take charge of your life today humko lagta hai mera pita ji change hua meri bibi change hua mera boss change hua kuch change nahi hoga only one person who has to change is you yourself stop blaming allahabad ssb it is a rejection center no it is not rejection center it is a selection center but the problem is when i go and khote sikke bechne ki koshish karta hu they reject me so the problem is me, in me so please understand stop blaming others so look at this picture each of them they may not be speaking like in right now they are thinking the other person is responsible for the problem they are facing B- stop uh, blaming this you have to take charge ye kab ye problem tabhi solve hoga jab one of them takes charge of the situation that's your ability to respond and you can only do it when you do it in life agar life ko nahi handle karna aata to aap ssb kaise handle karoge now next point that you'll get is to make to take more personal responsibility of your state of mind and emotion aaj tum jo bhi feel kar rahe ho mehsoos kar rahe ho ya jo emotion bhavnaon ko mehsoos kar rahe ho uske zimmewar aap ho for example aapne mujhe ek bar gaali diya kitne bar ek bar bahut ganda gaali diya us gaali ko main andar leke kitne bar ghumata hu hazar bar 10000 bar that's my choice so i must know how to have control on my inner world so when i take most uh, responsibility of my personal my personal state of mind i am in control mujhe pata hai main jo bhi mehsoos kar raha hu i can feel that and i can check that whenever required mukesh kitna bhi ssb mein aake mukhota laga le अंदर से मुकेश मुकेश ही रहेगा बिकॉज उसका क्यू थ्री में गंध भरा हुआ है एंड क्यू टू ब्लाइंड एरिया उसको रिड्यूस नहीं किया है सो so, मुकेश कितना अभी नंबर वन कोचिंग सेंटर में जाके क्रैक एसएसबी से रट्टा मार ले डब्ल्यू एटी टी एटी कर ले और कुछ भी लिख ले you he cannot hide this q3 because he is only masking it or ssb is penetrating to the mass to know who are you from inside so you have to clean it and unless you know how to clean your own head you cannot clean the head of the characters in the tat because of course ki vidhi nahi pata hoga mukesh knows how to rape he how can he write that i respect females he cannot write even if he writes he cannot do that because logically he only knows how to rape jab tak aap apne vritti soch mein change nahi karoge ye possible नहीं है कहानियों को रट लेने से मुकेश विष्णु श्रेष्ठा नहीं बनेगा and the next is to learn how to communicate better with people today communication mein language skills hamara improve ho gaya many of us think that good english means good communication skill no language is only a medium to communicate your ideas what matters is your idea and in terms of relationship i have already told you in one of the video relationship is not based on how we speak with each other you may be speaking very nice english it's not based on how we speak with each other how we behave with each other but relationship is based on how we think About each other, so Mukesh, कितना भी मीठा बोल ले, उसकी सोच में कचरा ही रहेगा, because inside is गंद. So you have to clean it. सड़ा हुआ आलू अगर रखोगे, एक आदमी रखे, दो रखे, it will always spoil this relationship. And your communication can never be congruent. Congruence in communication, I have told you, है ना? So <coughs> whether it is group discussion. और वेदर इट इज ग्रुप प्लानिंग एक्सरसाइज और वेदर इट इज जीपी पावर ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन आपको यहां पे कुछ भी नहीं बोलना आई एग्री विथ यू ही हैज नॉट स्पोकन लेट्स गिव हिम अ चांस जीटीओ सर हैज गिवन वेरी गुड टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन लेट्स हैव अ गुड नो दीस आर नॉट दीस आर ऑल नॉइस पावर ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन का डेफिनेशन है द एबिलिटी टू पुट अक्रॉस वंस आइडियाज एडिक्वेटली विद ईज एंड क्लैरिटी आइडिया ही नहीं है तो आप एक्सप्रेस क्या करोगे करंट अफेयर्स की जगह अफेयर्स लेके जाते हो सो आई विल रिक्वेस्ट टू वॉच दिस वीडियो पावर ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन सो Uh, this FSOP leadership and personality development program helps you to understand the depth in your communication and helps you build content not by spoon feeding you but by expanding your brain we will see in subsequent videos what i mean by that so fish market ko kaise handle karna hai definitely you create fish market because you don't know what is the essence of communication and then when there is a fish market you or some of you say ki sir should i also shout so you become a bigger fish market no that does not ma- uh, mean and last is to help manage life changes what does it mean is jeevan mein parivartan hi ek aisa sach hai which you have to adapt in life so if you are going for ssb you will have to identify certain gaps 
that or certain habits or certain pattern of behavior that is prohibiting you from getting your desired goal that is for example getting recommended from the ssb and unless you are not able to identify that and leave that and latch on to fresh habits is video ko is mein jo photograph dikhaya hua पीछे जब तक आप छोड़ के आगे नए हैबिट्स को नहीं पकड़ोगे वहीं पे लटकते रह जाओगे दैट पीछे वाला ट्रपीज जंग का जो पीछे है दैट्स अ कंफर्ट जोन यू हैव टू मूव आउट ऑफ योर कंफर्ट जोन जब जब आपको 100 परसेंट ट्रेनिंग कराते हैं जीटीओ में दे आर पुटिंग इन टू कम्फर्ट जोन जब आपको रटा रटा स्टोरी पढ़ते हैं दे पुटिंग इन टू कम्फर्ट जोन बट द एंटायर टेस्टिंग इन दस एस बी इज बाई पुशिंग यू ऑल्सो द कम्फर्ट जोन सो प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड सो हाउ फास्ट यू डू दिस चेंज इज दर एसेंस ऑफ चेंज मैनेजमेंट इस ट्रपीज जंग का जो फोटोग्राफ का एक्सप्लेनेशन इट इज गिवन ब्यूटिफुल इन दट वीडियो चेंज मैनेजमेंट फॉर एस एस बी एन लाइफ सो यू मस्ट ऑल्सो इन योर प्रोपरेशन फॉर एस एस बी identify what is the expected performance identify where are you at the moment and identify this gap and fill this gap how to fill this gap we'll make it no videos we'll see that so these are the six major points that you're going to get once you come here whether you get recommended or not from ssb but these thing you'll definitely get so i'll give you details of people you can take a feedback this is from director dip this is from army headquarter so i'll request you to go and watch this air force video 95 plus you don't need to go to any coaching center if you are intelligent and uh, definitely you must watch perception management of candidates for improved selection and ssb interview decoded video because they will give you complete shift in your orientation as far as ssb is concerned and uh, this is the letter from uh, headquarter pune sub area and i conduct these classes on behalf of headquarter pune sub area in various schools and colleges within maharashtra and outside maharashtra also you know bj medical college pune engineering college bmcc bharatiya vidyapeeth university of pune even to coimbatore to various any school so even if you or your school management feels or college management engineering college or whatever feels that you need this program to be conducted for your students in your college oblique school you can contact me at 8275557650 whatsapp will be the preferred mode of communication also you can send me a mail at afosubhay@gmail.com or in case you want my profile you can just send me a whatsapp message i'll send you the details hand it over to your principal oblique your training and placement officer and we will coordinate with them and conduct this program in your own location in schools and colleges and in case you wish if you like these videos i'll request you to kindly like it comment them or subscribe and in case we will wish to attend the air force op leadership and personality development program fresh batches starts every monday uh, numbers are 8275557650 or 7798647177 you can uh, whatsapp me on these numbers or you can mail me at a4sugetherate@gmail.com just for your information the basic program is of 4 weeks 28 din ka hai because the entire concept is very different there is no ratta so it takes a lot of time it is like theoretical swimming you may understand in, understand in just one week but you will not be able to implement it because swimming theoretical swimming is different from uh practical swimming we have a 3 weeks program one week program and we will recommend you those of you have time you must join for four weeks only then you get the best complete benefit out of it because certain concept that i give you they are take time to implement so do share it with your friends and i hope these videos are helping you thank you and may god bless you thank you very much